Hello Libra, welcome to your 333 reading. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing fine. If you are new here, I'm Aji and this is Sacred Libra where we talk all things Libra. Let's get right into the reading. I do have a quick announcement. Um, new moon eclipse specials, okay, will be ending on Saturday. Saturday is the last day you can book your new moon eclipse special. Um, so make sure you check out the description bar down below and you click the link so you can book. It is this reading right here, but it will be um, personally specific to your situation um, when you book your personal. But this is the layout if you are wondering how this reading looks. All right. So let's get right into it. We're going to start off with love. Yep, we're going to start off with love. Let's see. What's coming through for Libra in love? Clear messages, please, for Libra. Let's see what's coming through. Thank you, thank you, thank you to the angels, spirit guides, ancestors. All the love surrounding us. You have worth waiting for. Let your friends help you. Divine timing is at play in your love life. Okay, <laughs> You're coming from freeing yourself from a situation that wasn't serving you or taking control of your life back. Um, there's a reconciliation. Okay, so divine timing is now, like the, the, the time is now for this reconciliation. I'm getting like you might be like going crazy or you may need some help, some advice. Let your friends help you. All right, your friends can help you. So let them. Let me move this down. Also, you will have to let go of control issues. You will have to let something unfold naturally. But, ooh, that sounds exciting. Like, somebody, I'm getting like you were worth waiting for. Like, somebody waited for you. What's the message reading? Intimacy, hoping, fantasy, something's about to, it's about to start feeling like a dream, okay? It's something's about to start feeling like a dream. Um, You may start having intense feelings or intense daydreams or whatever about a person. Um, Also, you find out that somebody was, was um, trying to spy on you, but you have really, really like, it's hard for a person to keep tabs on you because not a lot of people know things about you. Um, you tell people what you want to know, and I'm pretty sure that they, um, you tell people what you want them to know, but you don't care if they kind of spread the things that you really, like, hold on to. You don't really tell people that stuff. So it was hard to keep tabs on you. It was hard to kind of keep up with you. This is what this person is saying. Like, it was hard to keep up. It was hard to keep tabs on you. Um, you have a strong boundary. You don't let many people in your circle. So it was kind of hard to see what was up with you. With you. Everybody had conflicting stories um, about what was going on with you. Everybody's stories like contradicted one another. Okay, there's some type of disappointment that you're dealing with. Um, there's also recognition. You're dealing with some type of disappointment. However, you are getting your flowers and recognition and career and there's good news that's coming to you. So in the midst of some disappointments or disappointing news or disappointing situation, you may feel like not even feel like there is some good news for you. There's some good news out there. It's a lot of good things. It's just something else that you're that you're dealing with. Okay, tell me more about worth waiting for. Why is the time now? Divine timing. We have the Knights of 
pentacles. So, like I said, someone has been trying to reach you. There was a message. It's, it kept on getting delayed because you have told your boundaries. Like, for some of you guys, like, if a person wanted to get tabs on you and to figure out what you were doing or what you'll be up to, they'd be lost. They wouldn't have anyone to keep tabs on you like that. You don't... People, like... It's almost giving like high priestess energy. You can't keep tabs on the high priestess. The high priestess is too mysterious. The person who swears they know about the high priestess, they're barely keeping up themselves. Like they, they getting thrown off that they don't know. So I feel like that this message has been delayed and delayed and delayed because they have trying to, been trying to figure out how could they actually keep tabs on you? How could they actually um, get some information? How could they reach out to you? How would they be able to reach you? How would they be able to just bump into you somewhere? Like, they don't know. I keep getting Scorpio and Libra. Um, something may happen during Scorpio Libra cusp time. Um, like you could be on the cusp. I remember I read somewhere that I'm on the cusp. I'm like, I'm the 13th. But it was like eight days or something before the next sign you considered a cusp. I'm like, I've never, I thought it was like, I only count like the couple of days before, a couple of days after um, the change, the, the zodiac sign change. But somebody could definitely be on the cusp. I keep getting like a cusp or something could definitely be happening at that time, which the time is now, really. Like the time is now. Tell me more about let your friends help you. Okay, so there could have definitely been a tower or there could have been something going on in love and relationship, um, something like that. Let your friends help you. Yeah, you could definitely be burying something. Um Also, I'm getting that you may have mutual friends with this person. You could also be remembering, like, if you were in, a, like, a, a, a complete, like, false foundation, like, really, really bad relationship, you could be remembering all the, the, the times and all the drama and all that stuff. Um, for some of you guys, this is going to be the false foundation is going to be you. It's this past person that you're like, I don't like, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't. And it may be a friend that's like, you know, you like that person. You know, you, you know, you intrigue. You know, you like that they calling you. You know, you like that they, um, that you ran into this person. It's like you trying to front a little bit. Because Libras do be fronting. Libras be fronting. <laughs> Tell me more about let go of control issues. Um, don't try to control this thing, Libra. Like you do a lot of stuff. You try to control a lot of things. You may have to just let this situation unfold naturally. Um, well, you're going to have to. Um, this is a reciprocal relationship. So I'm getting like you may try to find faults as to why you can't date this person. Why something's not going to work out with you. But you can't even really find any type of fault. You keep trying to find something or nitpicking at something. And this person is giving you all the energy that you're giving them back. Or this could be a wake up call where you're realizing that something is taking so long because both of y'all are mirroring out the same energy, which means that delaying energy, that inconsistent energy, that flighty energy, you're actually mirroring that off to them, too. So once you stop your energy, they'll stop theirs. Whew. That was a mouthful, a mouthful. Tell me more about um, intimacy. There's a person who's going to get intimate, intimate with you or get close with you or that you'll be bonding with over the next couple of days. Oh, and this is wish fulfillment. Okay, you'll be bonding with this person over the next couple of days and they are not playing any games with you at all. None whatsoever. They want happiness. They want a family. They want all that stuff that you're talking about. All that stuff that y'all could have possibly talked about. Um, someone wants you to know, like spirit wants you to know that somebody is not playing games. Like you think that a person is playing games with you. I feel like this, this tower could be, 
Like you think that the person is playing games with you. They're not playing games. You do have the Hierophant here. This could be a Taurus. It could be an Earth sign. Like someone definitely wants some type of deep commit, deep um, commitment with you. They might want to plan something or somebody may be balancing their time or managing their time more wisely. Tell me more about hoping. What you hoping for, Libra? You hope that this person isn't. They're not lying. <laughs> Like, they're not lying. Like, over and over, they are not lying. Like, it's no games, real love. Spirit is trying to, like, you hope that they're not lying. Maybe your friends can realize that something is not a tower or that something, a false foundation has crumbled and this person is actually telling the truth. Um, you also may need to watch something healing or listen to some type of healing co content because you have a pain you have a history of dealing with people who lie to you or you could be in a relationship where you had like people who you counted on they lied to you or they um let you down when you really really believed so when you have to work that belief muscle, it's all these triggers and all this stuff. So you're kind of like hoping and praying and having faith and expecting the person not to be lying or expecting someone not to, 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 to tell the truth. It's like spirit is telling you over and over and over again that this person is a lion. I'm getting like you were worth it. Maybe it was some type of wait. Maybe you didn't know if a person would wait for you and you were worth waiting for. Um, yeah, you have the queen of swords. You know the truth. Deep, deep, deep in your heart of hearts, you know this person is telling you the truth. Or you know that this person is really in love with you or something like that. Or they're just not lying to you. I'm also getting like there is some really good news like you may win something and you're like, please stop lying. Like you're lying. You're lying. I didn't win. Oh, this didn't happen. You're lying. It's kind of like hard for you to believe something. But the universe is like, we're not lying. It's your turn. It's your turn, Libra. All right. Tell me more about the fantasy. You know, Libra love that daydreaming, fantasizing, visualizing. Why is fantasy here? Why is fantasy here? All right. You got stale face. Because love is in the air. Somebody has a stale face because love is in the air and it feels like a fantasy. Some love is going to be so potent that it may feel like a fantasy for everyone else. It may feel like you just in your own little fairy tale world. Like what? How do I get on that frequency? So I feel like somebody could definitely have a stale face towards you. Yeah, you got the seven of swords. Yeah, this is a repeat offender. Whoever this person is, they don't like when you're like happy in a relationship or they don't like when you're happy in relationship. It doesn't even have to be in a romantic. It could just be with friends. When a person sees that you're bonding or something with a person, they will find, I don't know, do something. Get upset. Find something to fault that person. Make it seem like they don't like the person. Make it seem like they don't, I don't know, some type of uh, weird energy. My phone is going off like crazy over there. There could also be somebody who pops back up and you're in like this fantasy love relationship or you're just in bliss and they just expected you to be how they left you sad maybe tell me more about um the sky what's the disappointment here well is it even your disappointment because it's like you're dealing with disappointment 
Oh, it's a hater alert. I was about to say, are you disappointed that somebody is not happy for you? Yes. Somebody is lying to you. That's why you need to leave out the details. Somebody is also talking about you. Um, they can have a big old butt. It's, I seen like big booty. You could have a big booty. It's significant. Um, but yeah, you're disappointed in this, this hater. Whoever this hater is. Yeah, you do have the Eight of Cups. Looks like you're going to be leaving or abandoning a relationship, turning your back on a relationship because you're just surprised that somebody isn't um, happy for you. Yeah, you have, this person has devil energy. Yeah, this person has devil energy. You could be closing the door on them. Tell me more about the bouquet of flowers. All right, keep going. You're about to see victory in career. You're about to get um, recognized for your um, efforts, extraordinary honors and fame, like a lot of recognition, getting your flowers when it comes to career. So don't stop. Um, even when the going gets tough, keep on going. Yeah, you have the hermit. You are wise. You may need to protect your energy just a little bit more, but. You're also about to get some insights. We have your in your empress energy. Yeah, you're about to get some insights. Um, be 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 mindful that sometimes when you get these accolades or something, it could come with a lot of drama. We're seeing like something is happening in your life. It's like a fantasy. And you do see another person is coming up in your aura as not being happy or having a stale face or looking at you funny or saying things funny to you. This could also have something to do with like a relationship. Maybe a relationship truly blossoms and a person is not as happy as you thought they would be for you. Or maybe something in career happens and a person is not as happy as you thought that they would be. It's like you thought this person would be happy, but you realize that they hating. But they say happy hoes ain't hating and hating hoes ain't happy. I got to put that on the shirt because that's true. <laughs> I'm going to wear that everywhere. I got to put it on the hoodie because it's hoodie season. It's, it was creeping up there to be hoodie season. I put that on the shirt and wear that everywhere. Just a, just a reminder. Just a reminder. Tell me more about the writer. Happy hoes ain't hating and hating hoes ain't happy. Period. Okay. Let's see. <clears throat> There's some good news coming to you. Um, there could be a charismatic that's coming towards you. Um, there's need for you to clean, clean the energy. I keep getting you to clean your house. I don't know if there is somebody, if you just haven't cleaned it or, or it's somebody that you keep on letting in that has that same crazy energy. Maybe it's a mindset. Like I put on the frequencies last night um, in the house um, to clean the aura and stuff while we sleep. But somebody is telling you to clean the energies of the house. It's been a nice breeze. Open up the windows. Get a breeze going. You can light you some sage or something or just say prayers or whatever. Or write intentions in every room or something. Do whatever you do is healing. But something is telling you to clean the energy at home, okay? Also, there's a need for you to, to, to make the energy at home back your safe space. Maybe it doesn't feel like a safe space. Maybe you could have, you know, sometimes when you're coming like off vacation and you haven't packed, you had to get right back to your normal workload. So you haven't unpacked, you haven't done anything. It's kind of almost like you living kind of out of a suitcase and at home, or you could have just like, moved or you know had some construction or something done it's like get the space back to to this like happy and secure space okay um definitely cleaning the energy in your home but there's a person i feel like whoever is giving you this good news they are going to be so so um exaggerated like almost like flamboyant if you will um but just so like 
maybe they have that type of personality, but they are just completely like out, out there, like over the top when they deliver you this news. And you're not focused right now. We got the eight of eight of pentacles. You're not even focused on what it is that you're supposed to be or what it is you're getting some good news about. Yeah, there's justice. There's some somebody is calling you with some really, really good news. You got justice and love. This could also be in a love relationship. All right. So I'm gonna leave it right here. I hope this reading resonates. If it does, make sure you give this reading a big thumbs up. I love you guys and I will see you in the next video.